questions for Mark Keith. Uh, Mark Keith, you went seven for eight from the line tonight. Uh, good free throw shooting night. Just, you know, you guys as a team shot pretty well from the free throw line. So just talk about the way you were, uh, you know, that might be a good thing. Um, we just came out in the first half and attacked the glass really, and attacked and got to the free throw line. We knew that. We knew like really that that's the only chance we had really. So we just trying to play our numbers and get keep it as close as possible. Uh, Mark Heath, in your three years here, how much would you say the rivalry between yourselves and Mercer has has grown, has elevated? Um, yeah, it's, it's grown a lot, really, since since I've been here. And my first year, when I registered it, um, it wasn't that big of a rival. But like my first year, I mean, my registered freshman year and sophomore year, it got bigger and bigger. Talk about the uh, the way the huge crowd might affect the way you guys play. Um, when we really play, like we like to have a lot of energy and keep us going because we only have like a couple people that play like 38 minutes and with that extra boost, it, it kept us with a lot of energy and we just trying to battle. Do you think that uh, yourself and your teammates have, have improved in the area of um, making plays down the stretch like with under five minutes to go in a close situation? Yeah, we improve a lot. We just make a lot of little mistakes and stuff that we can correct. Any more questions for Marquis? All right. Thanks, Marquis. All right. Yeah. Coach, whenever you're ready to I will to start off by saying uh, great energy, great crowd. I want to thank the fans, uh, thank the entire crowd for coming out tonight. Um, I've, been, I've been around some weird stats. Nothing as weird as what I've seen this year to where you uh, team shoot 56% and you shoot 32% and you're in the game the entire game. A lot of that goes back to the fact we had 19 offensive rebounds. Just didn't capitalize enough uh, off of those offensive rebounds. Um, they did what they needed to do down the stretch. I think Brown's two free throws are huge for them, especially when percentage-wise he's not the best shooter uh, out there. But um, I, I can't fault the energy, can't fault the effort. Just uh, made some mistakes at some critical times and had a chance to knock down a couple shots that we that we normally knock down that we did. So uh, with that being said, I'll open it up for questions. Um, describe Aaron Anderson's day. He only went three for eleven. Um, he was pretty quiet. I just thought he. Ru I personally thought he rushed everything. I think he was afraid of getting his shot blocked instead of just going up and being aggressive and uh, you know getting to the basket. One of the things that sticks out to me stat-wise, we shot 13 free throws the first half. We shot five the second half. We stopped being aggressive. Stopped getting into the paint. Stopped putting pressure on them. And uh, when you do that, you give a team that's that good they'll figure out ways to win, something that we're still working towards. Coach, you said uh, earlier that you shot 32% as a team. Uh, do, you, do you attribute that to Mercer's length or anything in particular? Uh, I just thought we had some wide open shots that we didn't knock down. Uh, missed too many layups inside. Um, I, I Put it this way, Mercer didn't do anything in my mind out of the ordinary tonight. Uh, I think we may have been just a little bit too juiced up. Uh, as you can tell by that with the 14 turnovers because you know we've averaged about nine maybe ten turnovers Spencer was six of them and he had five of them in the first half uh, just trying to be overly aggressive and trying to attack too much in the paint instead of when two guys get on to get on you just to take and penetrate and kick but um, you know the frustrating thing about it is is you're right there and you, you feel like that you've done enough to get over the hump but you still fall a little bit short so Got to get back to get back to the drawing board here and get prepared for UT Martin on Tuesday. Uh, one thing that really stood out, um, at least on the stat sheet and, and th throughout the course of the game, just the free throw shooting seemed to be much improved, especially by Delbert and Marquis. Uh, have they been practicing anymore? Was it just a good night for them at the line? I just think it was uh, a combination of both. I think we've uh, put more free throw shooting into the uh, game plan, but also at the same time, those guys stepped up, 
our guys were focused for this game, considering the first time that we played, that they uh, beat us pretty good at their place. And uh, you know, like I said once, uh, like I said before, and I'll say it again, we're going to continue to build off of this. We're going to continue to build off of it. Um, at Mercer um, a month ago, yeah, it was a close game until midway through the second half, and then you had a, a lull. Um, do you think your team did a good job of, of just maintaining energy for 40 minutes tonight? It was the best 40 minutes of energy I think we've had throughout the uh, course of the year, but we just keep making, you know, uh, the thing that sticks out, Romain Henry trying to throw the ball into Mark Heath and Bud Thomas steals it. You know, just swing it around and let's get another rotation and maybe we can get a, a clean shot off of that. Layups that were missed, uh, turnovers that, that we made that, you know, they, they don't seem tantamount at that point, but when you go back and you look at the final stat sheet, they end up being huge. And, uh, you know, I, I think I could have gotten Keith uh, more shots down low, but shoot, he took 15 shots tonight. So it's the most shots he's probably taken uh, since late January. So for that, I'm excited about that. We just got to continue to keep working hard. And once again, I'm going to continue to coach them the only way I know how to try to teach them from this and prepare for UT Martin on Tuesday. Any more questions for Coach Preston? Just a final one just about Marquise. Um, other than just his point total, seven rebounds, four steals, as he, as he started to really buy in and just change the way that he plays. I just think, uh, I just think tonight he was more aggressive. You know, and... Uh, that's a question you need to continue to ask him because I always tell him, I want you to be aggressive in attacking the basket. That's where you're at your best. Uh, I, thought, I thought a couple shots he settled for in the second half or not customarily his shots. You know, when he was kind of in a groove free throw wise, I thought he would have gotten into the paint a little bit more. Maybe those eight free throws of 14 or 15 as opposed to just being eight. Thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.